hey guys welcome back to kinsey's kitchen if you are new here you are welcome today i'm gonna share with you guys a spring roll recipe i hope this spring roll recipe help you to do your prepping of ramadan these are all the ingredients i'm gonna use for the filling of the spring roll what i'm gonna do here in the pan i'm gonna add oil Then I will add uh, chicken mince. You can use any mince of your favorite lamb or beef, but I prefer to use chicken for my spinner roll. But if you want to see like vegetarian one or samosa, you let me know in comment below. I would love to do that. Then I will add onions and chopped garlic. And I add some curry powder and diced carrots. It's only a few ingredients. And the filling is very good. So flavorful. And I'm gonna saute those for a few minutes. Then I will add more ingredients. After five, four to five minutes, the chicken you can see is getting cooked. Now I'm just gonna add some pinch of salt, some salt, one teaspoon of salt. Then I will add soy sauce. Then I will add peas and saute that. Saute this for a few minutes. Then I will use flour to thicken it up otherwise the filling will be dry and you need the filling to be moist the filling doesn't have to be dry then i add a little bit of water if you don't have flour you can use corn flour it's all the same like the flour then i'm gonna put it there and add a little bit of water and let it simmer for two to three minutes then let it see for two to three minutes, then I will let it cool down before I make the filling. You don't want to use the hot to make your filling. It's not good for the pastry. Let it cool down. After cooling it down, now I'm working with the pastry. The samosa pastry. It's um if you are working with the pastry, you have to use a towel to cover it. Otherwise, they dry very quickly, and if they are dried, it's not easy to work with. It's better to cover it. It's more going to make it moist, and it's easy to work with it if you cover it. Then I'm just taking the pastry, separating them. They, are, they stick together, so it, you have to separate the pastry. Now I'm just going to make the filling. If you want to make small one or big one, but I'm doing the big one, I prefer to use the big one. But you can make the medium one. It's up to you how you prefer. And I'm just going to roll it. Then I just hold the side and fold it in. Then roll it. Then I will use the water to secure the edges, or you can mix flour. And water to secure it to its work very well. They are secure very well. Water it's good and flour. And I fold it, then I roll it, and I add water to secure the edges. I'm just gonna do that with the process and the pastry. Sometimes you can see the hole, but that's fine. Just just roll it and then more filling, roll it. Just put the water, secure the edges. I'm just gonna repeat the process just like that. As you can see, what I tell you guys, the piece is the you have to separate them. If you 
want to, you just separate them and cover them. So if you are walking, doing that feeling, you don't have to separate them. Just cover them with our, with our clean kitchen tea towel. It's better. Now they are done. Now is the time to use my ziplock bag to freeze it. Do this, you save so much time on this month of Ramadan. If you just if you need it, you just grab a bag and just fry it. You have a good samosa you know, then I add oil, deep frying, you need oil. Then I'm just gonna fry it. Fry the spring rolls. Three to four minutes there. They cook very fast and if the oil is hot, you don't take any oil. <laughs> Then now is the time to take the spiral out there very good. Fry very well. Now I'm just gonna remove it. Just use a paper towel. Um that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys.